Hey guys, Killed Thornton here, back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at Logitech G's flagship wireless gaming headset, the Pro X Wireless. In the box, besides getting the headset itself, you're going to get your USB-C charging cable, a dongle for wireless connection, a cloth carrying bag, a quick start guide, microphone, and a nice inclusion to see is a replacement set of ear cups, which are going to be of a cloth material. Starting off with comfort, as I feel that's probably one of the most important things, and I'm sure it's important to a lot of you guys, because if it's not comfortable, it doesn't really matter how good it does sound. And I'm happy to say so far, like, just as soon as you stick this thing on your head, that's definitely the first thing that stood out to me. It's just how stinking comfortable it is. It does weigh in at 350 grams, so not the lightest, but for a wireless headset, definitely not bad. Has around a medium clamping force, um, not to the point where you can shake it off your head, but also not like clamping down so tight, where it's giving you a headache. So um, as soon as you slap this on your head, super cozy. It does come stock with those pleather ear cushions, which for me personally, not a fan of the pleather as it just locks in a lot of heat. Found my ears getting pretty hot in those, so I did opt to switch it out for these cloth ones. Um, obviously the trade-off with that is you're not gonna get as much noise canceling as far as just from ambient noise around the room. With the cloth ones, there's very little to no. There is a little bit of pleather towards the bottom of them to help lock in some of that sound, um, maybe more specifically coming out of the drivers themselves. But overall, the noise canceling on the cloth ones is not as good, but of course it just gives you more breathability, which I would prefer having that over the noise canceling and the heat of the pleather one. To remove the ear cups, it is as simple as just pulling on them and they'll pop out of those tracks around the edges and you can take you know your different set the pleather ones or the cloth ones whichever ones you're switching it out to pop it right back in and kind of pull it around it's really simple you can swap them out in as little as like a couple minutes the ear cups themselves though a plenty of room in there no matter which cup you're using they are the exact same shape um, lots of room top to bottom as well as side to side and in depth where my ears are not touching on those drivers at all they are using memory foam for all the padding and it is really nice and spongy where you push it down and it instantly comes back up so it's not too firm definitely nicely compresses to your head um, makes for a nice seal and also just a really comfortable wearing experience moving that up right to the headband itself there is a memory foam padding on this though it's not super thick it is still um, just fine as far as comfort goes with that medium clamping force and not super heavy weight it feels really nice on your head and it is like just a stitched leather or pleather material that they are using on that Overall, the comfort on this, super impressed with it, definitely an A+. Connecting it to your PC is as simple as just taking your dongle, plugging it into your IO on your computer, just with a USB standard end, and then turning your headset on and it literally connects in just a couple of seconds. There's no setup process for it. Super simple and a flawless connection. It is using their light speed technology, which is just a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection mode. And they do advertise up to 40 feet of range. And I walked like all around the apartment um, out from my actual office in my room over there and absolutely no issues with the audio. So if you are planning on, you know, being a decent distance away from where it's at, you should have no issues with the audio dropping off for you. And they also do advertise up to 20 hours of battery life, which I haven't like specifically timed out and tested to that, you know, that to a T. But overall, like I've only charged it once. I've been using it for a little over a week now. So definitely no worries about battery life and a good rule of thumb, like I always mentioned, just plug it in when you're not using it. And then you never have to worry about actually having it die on you while you're using it. Build quality so far on the Pro X wireless does seem to be super solid for your main construction it is going to be like using that steel headband that kind of wraps up and around and comes out and then forks down into each ear cup individually where it does connect to the ear cup there's like this little kind of plastic grommet sort of deal and i'm not sure if that's the only thing actually securing it to the each ear cup individually or if that metal actually runs down inside as i just don't want to take it apart to look but i'm pretty sure it is possibly running inside the ear cup but i'm so far like flexing and bending it around i um, have no worries about it falling apart or breaking on me a um, very rigid design the ear cups do kind of have that like flashy aluminum sort of look to it where that logitech g logo is at so that is a little bit polarizing you might like it you might not so something to take into consideration there besides that though the plastics and the metals used on it do feel really premium so a nice feel and what you'd expect for a headset that does warrant the price that this one does the one other design choice that might be a little bit weird um, to you guys and definitely was to me is these little coiled wires you see running from the ear cup up to the headband which of course does help it with it like stretching out or if it does get pulled on it does give it a little more flexibility there but I just find it a little dorky looking so I love to see that updated in the future as far as adjustability goes you get the ability to either slide ear cups up and down on that steel headband um, they do come out quite a ways and they also do give you like little white lines which are indicators of how far it is in or out so if you want to you know perfectly match it up with the other side you can definitely do that it does slide out pretty sick and far and then with the flex in it this should fit like pretty much any head size I already have a pretty big head and it fits just fine. I mean, there's definitely 
definitely a lot more room there. So you shouldn't have any issues um, as far as it actually fitting your head. Besides that though, there's not a ton of adjustability. You get a little bit of swivel on your ear cups, like um, up and down, but no side to side swivel. So if you're someone who wears glasses, that might be an issue for you as it might not allow you to be able to swivel it back to get pressure off those frames, um, but still a good amount of adjustability there. Maybe they could see some more in the future though. All your controls will be found on your left ear cup with the top most of those being your mic mute or unmute button. Below that you have your volume mill to adjust whatever on you're listening to up or down. Your power button's gonna slide either back or forth and when it reveals that blue color, it's turned on. When it's showing that red color, it's powered off. Below that, you're gonna have a USB-C port, which is used to charge the headset. And then finally, you have your mic jack, which is on the front of the left of your cup. And this can, of course, be used that included microphone, which does come with a windscreen on it. And it's pretty flexible and easy to move around. Now, talking about the sound on these guys, they are gonna work with PS4, or now PS5, I guess. They're gonna work on PC and then also Mac. And as per usual, um, me being an Xbox user and all other Xbox users out there know, like, most PC headsets never work on Xbox. So uh, mainly, people are gonna be picking this up for PC, so that shouldn't be too big of an issue, but there is no 3.5 millimeter jack like we see with some other headsets where you can still like, you know, run it up into the headset, then down to your controller, or if you have anything else that uses 3.5, which is kind of a bummer not to have that included here, um, but maybe we'll see that in the future when Logitech gives their next headset to us. Um, out of the box, um, they are using tw um, 50 millimeter drivers, that low end 20 up to 20,000 for your high end frequency range. And I have to say like pulling it out of the box and just putting it on, it did sound a little bit flat, but this is obviously not it. It's when you hop into the software, when everything really opens up for you, there's just an absolute plethora of like customization options between the microphone and the sound itself, being able to tune your drivers how you would like. So no matter what sound you like, if you like, you know, your bass is really punching through where you like the really nice crispy highs um, being more in the mix, you can adjust that how you like in there and we'll hop into that in just a second. So overall, as far as sound goes, you're gonna get the most out of it with the software. So if you're playing on just, you know, plugging and playing this, you're not gonna get everything out of it, you need to be in that software to really get the most out of it. Let's go ahead and actually hop over into the software now and I'll actually be using the microphone while I'm going through the software so you guys have a good idea of what that sounds like as well. Alrighty guys, we're now over on my computer and all the audio you're gonna be hearing from this point on is gonna be coming straight from the Pro X wireless headset. We're gonna go ahead and hop into the software starting off with the microphone here. And when you first get into it, it'll look pretty basic just like it does right now. But as soon as you click enable blue voice, you guys will hear the mic change on the recording and then you click advanced controls that's when things really start to open up here obviously you have your more basic like just voice eq settings which a little bit more simple but then when you get down here you got like things like high pass noise reduction expander gate esser compressor limiter i don't know what all these things do they do provide question marks if you want to actually read through i'd right now have it where it sits at generically i have not customized it to my liking but for a wireless headset microphone I think it does sound really good you don't find many headset microphones that sound good in general and for it being just you know a gaming headset microphone I think it's pretty good. Obviously you can get a condenser microphone and just really up your audio game but if you had to use a microphone on a headset I would say this is definitely one of the better options. One of the easiest ways though to go through and kind of edit your presets in here is right here they have this awesome thing that says mic test. All you do is record a little sample of your voice just saying you know, like hello this is a mic test or whatever you want to say. Once you record that you can have it looping back and forth and it will update like on a live loop as you adjust the settings to what you're saying and you can hear it played back to you and if you don't want to hop into all these settings you don't want to try to mix up these things because they are pretty confusing they do already have presets from like i think these are streamers and um, yes streamers for the um, logitech and then they also just have tons more if you actually want to browse through them and you might find one of those that you like the most but overall i mean the customization on the microphone just alone is absolutely awesome to see gives you a lot of versatility here and if you know what all these things do or you really want to dive into it you definitely have that available to you we're going to hop over now to just the headphones the normal eq here here as well you do have the option to hop into presets um, if you want to try out different things but what i like to do is just kind of create my own curve with what i like and sometimes you know you can hop in here and you can save a set or a preset or have different presets that you want to use for different games um, of course the advanced eq is where you will find this when you hop in it might not look like this you might have to click on enable advanced eq and that's what brings up these curves and you can tune your drivers to just how you like and when it does come out of the box i think it was just in a completely flat line 
and it resulted in just not a super exciting sounding audio. But as soon as you're able to hop in the software, tune it in just how you like it, that's when you really get the most out of it. You can get those that bass, you know, more punchy. You can get those more crisp and clear highs. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do in here. Um, this headset does have surround sound, which I personally, I just am not a fan of the surround sound. I'm not going to enable it right now. Um, but once you do enable it, you can adjust each zone individually. It would have been nice to maybe see them give you more options, but I, I don't know. It's not for me. Obviously, try it out if you're going to get the headset just to see if you like it. Um, for me personally, not my thing. I'm more just sticking to the normal EQ adjustments that they have right here, and this is plenty enough for me. It's kind of wrapping up the video now and with my thoughts, you know, on the Pro X wireless from Logitech, I definitely think it's a really great offering from them and you really get the most out of it in the software on PC. So obviously I think most people are gonna be buying this from PC because that's just where you're gonna get the most out of it. As soon as you hop into that software, just the amount of options that open up between your, you know, your mic customization, as well as your sound, it really gives you so many things to go with there, whether it be you wanna get presets that other people have made or use or customize your own for different games having different things brought out in each game like it just gives you so much to work with there so that's great to see and on top of that of course you're also getting just a well-built headset and also really nice sound out of it and with the customization layer on top of it it just brings it to the next level of course this does not come at a cheap price tag it sits at $200 but when you get it and you actually start using it you can see why it's that expensive the other headset I think of in this you know kind of realm is the Black Shark um, Pro V2 Pro, which I will be doing a comparison video between this one and the V2 Pro from Razer. I'm kind of giving you guys the best idea of which one's going to be worth it as far as flagship wireless headsets go. But if you are thinking about picking up the Logitech um, Pro X, wireless, <laughs> those names, from Logitech, definitely worth it. I think it gives you a lot of customization as long as you're going to be on PC and be able to take advantage of that software. Thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you found it helpful or informative, please do hit that like button for me and do consider subscribing for more content just like this coming up in the very near future. But I'll see you guys in the next video.